This video will teach you how to install OBS Studios. This is going to be a blood and guts, super easy tutorial to get you started fast. What is up creator? My name is Scott and if you love video marketing as much as I do and dream of the day of working for YouTube full time, you have come to the right place. I'm in the fight to bring you the best video content to help you grow at this venue. Join with me and we will get some together. Yes! Okay, first things first, let's download the software. You can either Google download OBS Studios. It'll take you right to the front page. Or if you like, you can go to obsproject.com. It's a blue website. There are both choices for Windows and or Mac. Regardless of what operating system you have, this tutorial will help either or. I'm going to do it for Windows 10. So I'm going to click the Windows button and it will download a exe file. I'll download that to my downloads folder by hitting save. Okay, find the .exe file wherever it downloaded. Typically on a Windows 10 system, it is in the downloads folder. That's the same for Mac. For Windows, it's gonna be a .exe file. Just double click it and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes, then click next. And then it wants you to read the standard GNO public license. It's the same license that any open source software has for the most part. Just click next on that. Then it wants to prompt you as to where to install the program. In most cases, you want it to install into program files. Hit install. Make sure that launch OBS studios is checked off and click finish. And the program opens automatically for the first time. Now, this is the beautiful part of the installation, it wants to know, would you like to run the auto configuration wizard? Setting up OBS can be complex because there are many, many parameters in regards to how much data you want to send over the live stream. And what the installation can do for you in a very simplistic way is analyze the power of your CPU in conjunction with the speed of your connection to the internet and it will analyze that information and automatically configure all the parameters to get this set up properly. So when you get this prompt, hit yes and let it do its test. It says, usage information, specify what you want to use the program for. Do you want to optimize it for streaming or do you just want to optimize it for just recording? And the reason why it asks you this is because if you specify for streaming, it's going to pare down the amount of data that's going to be sent over the stream. So select that one. That's why you have the software. You want to use it for streaming. Select Optimize for Streaming and hit Next. Now it says specify the desired video settings you would like to use. Base Canvas Resolution. Use the current 1920 by 1080. I would recommend that in regards to frames per second. I recommend that you use 30 and not 60. 60 frames per second in a live stream is really not necessary and it just adds more bandwidth and it would probably contribute to a higher amount of lag. There's a lot of lag in streaming and if you can reduce it, do so because lag is a real pain in the neck. So set it to 30. I don't think there's anything less than 30 in the selection. No, there's not. So 30 is your best bet, okay? Hit next. Now select the service that you want to stream over. In most cases, it will be YouTube, I can imagine. So in that case, I will select YouTube. And then it's going to want to know your stream key. Uh, I'm assuming that you don't want to stream right now. I'm I just want to show you how to get it. If you click the Get Stream Key, it will take you right over to your YouTube account, assuming that you're logged in. So if you're not logged in, log in before clicking that button and then it will take you to this page. This is the old version of Studio. Scroll to the bottom of the page. Don't worry about the server URL because OBS Studio already has that recorded, but you want to copy your stream key. A little warning about your stream key. If you let anyone know about what that key is, it means that they can use it at their OBS program and do anything they want with it. They can show anything and will be under your channel name. So I highly recommend that you do not reveal the stream key. It's just like giving someone your credit card information. You just don't want to do it. Okay. Keep that in mind. So click reveal, copy it, control C, go into OBS studios and paste. You can hit show to confirm that it's there. Again, do not show anyone what that code is. Video bitrate can remain at 2,500. 
check off prefer hardware encoding. That means that the CPU in your computer will be doing a lot of the work at first so that it makes a improvement on your delay. I'm going to talk about that in just one second. Hit next and it displays the results of your test. You can take a look at this and maybe compare it to your own. I have a high speed computer right now. So the odds are it may not be uh, the base canvas size or the output size may not be as large as yours. Who knows? It's interesting to compare it to. Hit apply settings. You could technically start streaming right now and, and you'd be in business, but you need to connect your cameras to the OBS program and you need to create some scenes and some sources. If you're interested in learning more about that, you can click this video. I was gonna go this way, this video and check out more about that.